Hello, Nerds for Christ. I am Jacob. So today, I thought I would do another comic book review as I had just finished reading the very last volume of Paper Girls. I wasn't quite sure where um, where this series would lead me. Um, in all, there is six volumes. Um, I don't know how many singles that ends up being. But uh, the series is written by Brian K. And you'll have to bear with me with his last name. Vogahan, or Vogue, maybe? Vaughn. Um, V-A-U-G-H-A-N. Uh, artist is Matthew Wilson. And it was pretty, yeah, they all, all six. So um, there's really no change in art or, or uh, writing. Uh, the art for me is adequate. I wouldn't say it's subpar. It's not exactly my favorite art, and I will show you guys some screenshots. But but one thing, as I talked about before when I did the, the Marvel League of Legends review, is it's consistent. And one of my favorite things about um, a volume or trade would be consistency. For me, that scores high points. I, I just do not like coming into a different volume, a different an issue, and the art is just off. To me, it, it instantly um, disconnects the story and the, and the continuity that the story is trying to um, collaborate. Um, you know, each issue, you know, is part is just a, a small part of uh, the story. And when all of a sudden, you know, let's say the writer or the artist change to me it just it's just a huge impact um, on the consistency and it just it makes it feel like all of a sudden you're not reading the same comic um, there was a, a series I used to I get back in the day it was one of the suicide squads I can't remember which one but every single like two or three issues they changed the writer they changed the artist and all of a sudden, it felt like you were reading a completely different comic, and and the overall arcing story really suffered because of that. And not to mention, they constantly did a roll call. One of my biggest pet peeves is the writer telling me again who the characters are. I don't know if it's the companies or the higher ups telling them that they need to do it, but I do not think new readers to the series are jumping in and deciding to buy a trade or a single issue and like let's say the 10th issue, the 20th issue, and so on and so forth. And you do not need to constantly tell me who Deadshot is. You know, you, do, you know, when it comes to these comics, don't keep doing that. It's just really frustrating. Um, and also, there, there's Wikipedia. There, there's, there's Bing, Google, you know, all these sources of information. If people really do not know who a comic book character is, they can look it up. But that's all I'm going to say on that. I'm kind of getting off topic. But... Paper Girls, I think it was written well. Um, I think the dialogue was pretty good. Sometimes and there's always going to be those moments where the dialogue seems a little weak. Um, but I think it had more realistic dialogue than it had um, unrealistic dialogue, I guess I would say. But um, it's basically, to give a small synopsis without any kind of spoilers, is it's about four girls who are, of course, Paper Girls and... Um, some timey-wimey stuff goes down, yes, Doctor Who reference, and, um, you know, they get set off onto this adventure. And really, if I had to describe it, I would say it kind of reminds me of, of course, Stranger Things. Um, and then also, th this one's kind of weird, and if you're familiar with the reference, um, it'll help you understand. Uh, Twelve Monkeys uh, with Bruce Willis, um, the movie or the series. The overall story is good. Uh, I think my only biggest complaint is is the end, which um, in volume six, and I'll show you the cover. the The ending was kind of lackluster for me. I think it's because I've experienced and, and read and seen time travel done a lot, and with that being said, there's just certain endings that are just kind of meh. I've seen it before, or it's kind of you know the same old trick 
And to me, that's kind of how it was. Though I can't say that it's not worth reading because of the ending. Some people might like the ending. Um, I'm not going to spoil what the ending was. But to me, it was just one of those things where it's just like, I saw it coming, but at the same time, I was really kind of hoping it wouldn't be the case. Um, what what I say that these aren't worth reading? No, I, I definitely think these are worth picking up, especially because of the price. Now, if these were like thirty dollars a piece, I would I couldn't recommend it. Um, but and I'll, I'll even show you guys right now the pricing, and it's pretty it's pretty good. You can't you can't really beat the price that they're at right now, uh, especially for like. You know, an hour of entertainment, depending on how fast you read. But um, as you can see right now, Volume One of Paper Girls is seven dollars a Kindle. Um, you can get it used around fourteen. Paperback, and this is what I have. I mean, two fifty four seventy two. Obviously, it's going to cost a little bit more than that after um, you paid for shipping, handling, and taxes. But for getting a comic for less than ten dollars is a steal anyway, and it's definitely good enough and worth it. In, in my opinion and I think anyone who who's interested in the kind of um, time travel theme or kind of stand by me stranger things you know any of those times where you know, goonies the, those um, how, how should I say it those kid those group kid adventures those um, it kind of gives you you know that homey feel it reminds you of the time when you're in school you know you maybe rode your bike around or hung out with your friends went to the skate park you know whatever you and your friends did it brings back that that kid feeling and you know in reading something like this I, I it definitely does that uh, the last thing I really want to talk about on it because I, I, I basically I'm recommending it um, out of 10 I'd give the series overall a 7 I didn't give the last one um, a rating just because I didn't think to do it, but um, yeah, definitely seven, seven point five maybe. But for I definitely think it's a good read. Um, the last thing I would have to say on it is there are some there's some content, and I understand that you know kids the 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 kids they're portraying in the book um, at these ages may experience and come into contact with certain content, but you know these comics are rated teen, and obviously I wouldn't suggest or or approve of anyone who let's say isn't in high school reading this you at least need to be high school level to pick these up and read them if you're a parent listening watching you're interested you know and you want to read it for yourself if you're if you have kids i would like i said you know high school level before reading it um, it definitely has some content um, that you want to be wary of but really if you're going to let your kids read anything you know check it out first um there's no way to really be to be sure but that's um that's all i have on it and um hope you guys enjoyed leave your comments below have you read paper girls are you interested in paper girls let me know and uh hope everyone's staying safe and god bless uh, i realized as i was doing my editing i forgot to say the links to these comics will be in the comment section not the comment section the, the description below so um if you're interested like i said check these out and uh, i've made it easier for you to find them <music>